What's up guys, Football Pia here, and today I have a very cool tutorial, and I will show you how to black out your soccer cleats. This is something a lot of pros have been doing, and there are some online services that will black out your cleats for you, but this is definitely not necessary, as you can do this at home. Of course, you will need to buy a few materials, but these will not cost you a lot, since most of these materials are very cheap, and stuff you can just find near local art store or Home Depot. So first off, you'll need a color dye kit. The one I have here is from Tarago. Um, this is one I found on eBay. It was, I think, 10 US dollars, very cheap. It arrived here in two days, so this is something you need. Um, obviously, since you want to black out your soccer uh, cleats, you'll need black dye and inside. You'll have like a just black dye. Let me just put that back here. You'll have see you'll have the preparer which is pretty much nail polish remover but it's to basically just kind of prepare the surface of your cleats you get a brush in this kit and then you also get a little foam pad so that's what you get in there and instructions are also included and um, and it does say leather color dye kit even though you'll be dyeing synthetic cleats you need the leather dye kit since it also works for synthetic leather um, just that's what you need with the kit obviously you'll also need a pair of soccer shoes for this video I'll be using the vapor nines in the sunset yellow colorway I've worn these quite a bit and I mean there are a few scuff marks that doesn't really matter though so I'll be using these for the video and I'll be mainly blacking out the upper and not the sole plates and not I'll be keeping the laces the same color and we'll see how I like it so before you start applying any of the preparer or the dye, make sure that you take out the laces and that you also tape off the parts that you do not want to dye. For example, I do not want to dye the sole plate, so I'll be taping off the bottom part here and also here the cuff and the where it meets the ankle because I don't want the inside to be kind of a black, so I'm going to be taping that as well. So now that you've taped the cleats on the top here, collar and then also you've taped off the sole plate you can get just your regular cotton balls that you can use to remove nail polish just at you know target anywhere you will open the prepare and you'll just soak that the you'll soak the cotton ball with the prepare and what you just do is you spread you spread it out you rub it in and make sure to get all the little spots here in the front just Rub it in real okay, so now that you've rubbed in the, the prepare, it's time to dye the shoes. So just make sure you shake this so that the dye can mix properly. Then you take the brush that was in the kit, wherever that is. Oh, that is over here. Just your brush. You can also use just any flat tip brush. This one isn't necessarily flat tip, but just any brush will work for this. You will open it up. There we go. Um, you'll start off by, so it's kind of gooey right now. So what we'll just do is we'll mix it up a little bit. Make it mix up like that. Also, so when you apply the dye, make sure to wear your rubber gloves. Rubber gloves. Just any work gloves. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I've got my gloves on. And what you'll uh, do is you'll take the foam pad and you'll use the foam pad. That's that's what you'll be using to distribute the dye on the shoe. Use the brush to just paint it on. All right now we'll start with the painting on. I'll start on the instep. Just make sure get a nice coat in. All right, guys, so now I finished the first coat. On the right side, you can see that I've painted the cleat with the foam pad. I don't think it works that well, as the packaging says. I use the brush instead on the left one, and it works much better. So you can choose, but I definitely recommend using the little brush you got. So now what you have to do is just wait until the paint has dried on top of the cleat, 
This might take an hour, maybe two hours, depending on how much paint you put on. Now that you've waited a few hours and you let the paint dry, you should probably put on another coating. I've waited overnight because I did mine pretty late at night. So I've waited overnight and you can see that they're already pretty, so there's very few yellow marks. But I'm going to put on a few extra coatings so the paint doesn't rub off while I'm playing. So you can probably put on another two coatings and then after that, I'll tell you what to do next. So during the process of editing this video, a clip got lost, so I'll just tell you what you have to do now. I apologize for this. So the next step would be to just touch up your cleats. So just fill in the, the spots where the, the leather dye hasn't soaked in properly. Just fill, that up, uh, fill those in. Maybe add some more paint where it needs some more paint. Just, you know, do overall touch-ups on the, on the cleat so it looks nice. That's all for that. Uh, right on to the next step now. Now that you've touched up the boots and kind of filled in the spots that were still um, the old color, so down here I filled that in with some paint. Um, we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off kind of the paint where we don't want it. So here you don't want, don't want any paint on the sole plate or up here on the collar. You kind of want that to be clean. For this, you will need two things. You need some ear swabs. I'm sure most of you have these at home, just some regular ear swabs. Then also, you can use this. The Q-Tex is to, uh, kind of, uh, this is nail polish remover. If, I'm sure your mom has some or your sister. Just regular nail polish. And what you'll do is, you'll open it up. You'll squeeze some out. You'll have, just have to get some on the ear swab like this. Just soak it in. Then what you do with this, is you go to the cleats and you look for some dirt it's right here and you just clean off well let me focus but you just clean off the extra paint and it just goes right off and you have to be careful on this a little bit because if you get it on the sole like there I just got it on the sole a little bit it'll clean off the original other uh, paint on the upper itself so just make sure not to get it on the upper um, yeah so just do that. You can do that with the sole plate down here too. Just get that. Okay guys, so now that you've touched up the cleats and kind of cleaned off the uh, extra paint, there's one last step you need to do, and this is to put on the protective coats. To, to do this, I use the water and stain protector. Uh, the, you can get this at any art store like you can do with the other, other materials you need. I'm not gonna be showing you how to do this, just follow instructions on the can because you should do this outside and I'm currently inside. So after you do this, after you put on the protector, you just you know wait half an hour in between all putting all coats on, put on three coats and then you're cleats waterproofing and protecting my shoes with the water with the water protecting spray. And I mean, this is the finished product and I think they look, look absolutely amazing. At first I was a little bit skeptical on how they would kind of turn out, but I really think these look really nice. Um, I'll give you a quick 360 view now without them being on feet, and then after that, just give you a quick uh, 360 view on feet, and I'll wrap things up then. All right. Okay guys, here are the quick 360 view. Boom. So that's it for the video today. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you like this, please give it a big thumbs up because it did take a very long time to film this and a lot of hard work. And I did sacrifice a nice pair of Vapor 9s for this. So please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Also, please subscribe for more great content on soccer cleats. I'm bringing out more and more content in the next few weeks. 
I'm expecting a big package in maybe beginning of August, so stay tuned for that. It's a surprise unboxing. And just comment below what you think and how yours turned out if you did this. And just let me know if you want to see more of these do-it-yourself videos. I can maybe find a few things I can do on soccer cleats. So just let me know on that. Other than that, check out my Instagram. And thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Peace.